Okay, so I'm here at Herring's Walk and they are working on your possible new house with the double porches. <laughs> this is the Elliot. This is the one at 1100 in Herring's Walk on what salt something I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Salt yard. That's right. So that over there was that little strip of homes that we really did like. And then there's the green space. There's a green space one house away from you here. There's just four homes on this little strip right here. And I actually really kind of dig this one because across the way is another right straight across from you. There's going to be an easement. So there's homes over there and then their yards will end that way. These homes will end right here. So their little yards are going to end right here. So you're going to have a green space. But look at all of this space I mean green space green space you know just kind of I mean it's it just seems more open you know and you're not even on a corner but I, I already like it now this home is blue and again it's in process so it's gonna look like a hot mess <laughs> but this is the floor plan you do like so here's plenty of room for you Put your hanging swing and look you've got the craftsman style light it's like a lantern and then we're coming in we have no floors right now so i'll have to get her to tell me but look how much grander this opening is like you've got that drop center right there remember they had that really cute table with a bench you have your office or dining room here can look right out say hello to your neighbors still have a closet in here which I don't think that other one had a closet so you could definitely turn this into a bedroom if you needed it but again I don't think you have a full bathroom here no it's just like a half bath so toilet will be here here's your vanity these massive doors and their frames and then this one gets a linen no shelving in there just yet, but it's coming. Hello. This is your coat closet. Again, there's no lights on in here, but look how bright it is in here. I mean, just look at that. And look at how open that is. And then you have this little other gathering space. And then, oh, you're getting the gourmet kitchen in this one. Look at the architectural difference. You've got the wall ovens over there. You've got your refrigerator right here. Shiplap wrapped with the inset underneath the bar, the breakfast bar, very custom. Then you've got the bigger pantry. Does it go behind it? Oh yeah, we still have that nook back here. I almost forgot. And then looking from my kitchen, you're gonna have your cooktop your vent and then right there is your farm sink that's your dishwasher these are soft clothes whereas the other one did not have soft clothes remember i opened that farm sink and then look still plenty of room for a big beautiful dinette or dining table and lots of room for you to put your living room in no fireplace now this lot is smaller than the ones that i videoed before so still eight foot patio porch on the back but you do have room probably for the two-seater hot tub two-seater <laughs> There's your space between the homes. Let's walk over here. And it is super muddy. I, I'm not going out there. I'll have to drive around. Oh, I can walk on the other side because it's got grass. I forgot. See how much water we got? I mean, it rained pretty good here earlier. And then again, right through there, just a green space. Blue. Blue. Let me walk this way. Let's see how much parking we have. 
And on this one, you definitely have good front street parking. I mean, it's literally in front of you, but look, you still have a good size slab right here for a car, for two cars and in your, in, in your garage. But I mean, right here, real definite slab. Not like the other one where you'd have like one of that. <laughs> you put it. Yeah, that was not, that wasn't good. <laughs> oh, I always get to point out all the bad stuff. But puppies have room on the side over here. Again, for yard. And then you have all that green space, literally one house away. Let me go upstairs, though you've been to this, still, we need to see it. Another closet, look how deep it is. Look at that. And there's a light in there. Hi, how are you? Oh, sorry, <laughs> we're dancing. Okay, so here is your loft space. So not as big as the other one, but it's because all your bedrooms are up here. So in here, they just laid the tile. This is your laundry, bigger laundry. Here's your master suite. Definitely get a queen size bed there. I can't go in here, they just laid your tile. That's what those guys are doing. But this one is also getting a rain head. See it? And full tile to the ceiling. Dual sink vanity, white. Got a little shelf right there for you to sit, shave your legs, relax. Okay. And they did the tile in here, a dual vanity, but one sink. Then this is your toilet and your nice deep tub. First bedroom, walk-in closet, a bit, not a lot. But you've been in this, I know you have, so. And then this is the room. These rooms are a little smaller for some reason. It's probably because of this balcony. It's probably eating away at some of this. I'm gonna have to ask about these rooms. I mean, they seem like standard rooms, but you know, after being in the master, that always seems big. <laughs> And then this one has the double door closet. This was the Elliot, which you loved. All right, and this is the one that's on, this is the 1100. Let's off to the other one. <laughs>